Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to complete part two of Yahoo Maps, HTTP service command. Now, last time we showed you how to work with XML. We used another site, Rocks and Kent Drew, and basically structured our Yahoo Maps site after that site, creating an XML folder, bringing in XML data, and actually uh, re-engineering the XML site from Roxanne's project into the uh, Yahoo Maps Part 2 project. And so we're looking at the XML uh, piece that we created last time. It had a basically two tags, my video data tag at the very beginning and my video closing tag at the very end. And then it had a my data here opening tag and my data here closing tag with all the information that we needed for our map marker. Now you may have more and if you do just create another XML uh, opening and closing tag call it whatever you want to but make sure you have your coding on the other side to accept that data and now we're going to show you how to use HTTP service command to bring that data into flex and create those specific marker locations now just real quick I'm going to show you a trick in flex I'm going to show you how to work with two pieces of code and transfer one to another and have all that code on the stage so you can see it at once so let's open up Roxanne's site and go to our SRC folder So I've opened up Roxanne's site, and I want to click on the uh, project here, and I brought up her code. And I'm also going to click on the uh, Yahoo Maps project and bring up its code as well. And so, so let's get out of the XML. And you can see we have two uh, projects up here, uh, Yahoo Maps Part 2 and Roxanne's site MXML. I'm going to show you how to basically put those on the stage so you can compare them and transfer code back and forth. Uh, we want to pull code from uh, Roxanne's site and bring it over to the Yahoo Maps part. So what I'm going to do is just grab Roxanne's code, drag it. You see I'm dragging it out here? And just going to see right here on the side of the stage right here on this little gray bar, just drop it. And now you can see both of the sites are side by side. <laughs> A real cool trick that you can do in Flex. And now I can just transfer data from one side to the other. So what I need over here on the Yahoo Maps side is the HTTP service command. Okay, great. So all I can do is go to Roxanne's site and just copy that command. And come over here to uh, the Yahoo Maps site and paste it. Isn't that cool? That saves lots of time as far as going back and forth between codes. So you'll develop a lot of code in the future as you work with Flex and you want to transfer it from one project to another. This is a real easy way to do it without closing and opening tags. Let's examine the uh, HTT service command just a little bit. Uh, we've called it the name slide service. I'll just go ahead and keep all the same names that I had with Roxanne's project. However, under the URL Hers is listed at my XML2. I'm actually using my XML1. Great. And I have a little handler here. It will fire when I call the HTTP service command. Let's go ahead and call that command. And the way we do is we're going to copy this slide service right here. That's the ID of the HTTP service command. We'll copy that and we'll do a creation complete. Now we already have a handler, creation complete, right here. I'm going to do a, a control click on that. That'll take us to that portion of the code. Here we go. And what I want to do is, is call that HTTP service command upon the creation complete inside the handler of the creation complete. So all we have to do is basically just uh, paste the ID of the uh, HTTP service command and just hit send. And that will call the HTTP service command. Now once that command is called, there needs to be basically a result handler function created for it to uh, execute what's needed to bring in the XML data. I'm going to go over to Roxanne's site. And I'm just going to copy and paste that result handler function. So let's do that right now. Slide over. And let's find that uh, command. Now what we can do is use our little trick. So just hold down the control key, roll over the uh, function name and click on it. And that takes you right to the function itself. And we're just going to copy and paste this. Copy it. And we're going to go back to our Yahoo Maps code. 
And let's go down. And paste in the function. All right, now let's take a look at this and see if we can examine this a little bit. Basically, what we're doing is we're going to bring in what's called an array collection. We're going to call that AC videos. Once again, we'll just keep all the same names. So we're going to create a variable. We'll call it private var AC videos. And that will be an array collection. And that's going to bring all the data from the XML and plug it into that array collection. Let's get that code hitting going. That's my array collection, so click on that. And uh, so you might ask, well, how the heck did you get this uh, address, event.result.myVidData.data here? Let me show you. I'm going to right-click on line 22. I'm going to hit toggle breakpoint, and we're going to examine this in the debug mode. So click on the debug. Hit OK. And I have an error right here right away. Let's check and see what that error is. Type was not found, which means I need to have an import statement as well. So let's come along here. I need to import the uh, class necessary to make that um, resort handler work. So let's go back over to Roxanne's code. And here's my array collection import statement. We'll just go ahead and copy that. And now let's go back. We already have an array collection import. Let's see what the problem is. Result event. I don't have a result event, so let's go ahead and grab that result event right here. Let's copy that. And let's paste that in. And now let's run the code. Let me hit the Save button. Hey, it's happy with that. Good. It ne everything I need is there. So you can see going back and forth between the two pieces of code actually accelerates what I can do. Let's hit the debug and let's uh, go ahead and take a look at that um, toggle breakpoint. And let's launch the perspective. And I want to click on variable. And I have event. So let's click on event. Let's go to result. Let's go to my data. Let's go to my data here. And here's all the array collection pieces being brought into the array collection. From looking at these variable expressions that I know the address, event, result, my vid data, my vid data here, and here's my array collection that allows me to go right down to the individual data points. And so let's get out of this perspective and go back and take a look at that. Let's close the perspective. All right. Good, we're back in uh, Flex. And we can see, once again, the AC uh, videos collection has the address event result my vid data dot my data here. Okay, there's one more thing we need to do. We need to make that AC videos variable bindable. So the way we do that is we basically put in a bracket and we type in the word bindable. Now bindable is a cool thing in Adobe Flex because it's going to allow us to stick our hooks into that XML or into a MySQL database. Basically, the same type of coding that you use for the XML, you use for a MySQL database as well. And we'll show that to you in a upcoming series. So now that the bindable is in, let me review what you're doing. Upon completion of the uh, creation of the uh, program, the handler creation complete function is fired. And in that handler creation complete is the slide service um, dot send method. And that causes the HTTP service command to be fired. And from that, you have the result handler function, which is fired, which grabs all the data from the XML and pulls it into the AC videos array collection. And next time, we're going to learn how to use that array collection to place our markers where they need to go on the Yahoo map.